morning. Happy New Year. Well, 2022, can you believe it? How are we all? Is everybody well? Well, the Lord be with you. Oh, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and I can't wait to come around and hear all about the fun things that you did. And I know that this year will have been really special because you will have been able to have seen all your friends and your family and spend time with them. And that will have been magical. For so many of us, you weren't able to do that last year. So to have been able to have done that this year for most of you, I know would have been great. I always love New Year. I love it because it's a fresh start. It's when I can think to myself, what am I going to do this year? What difference am I going to make this year? One thing I always really do is watch the fireworks on New Year's Eve. Did you watch them this year on the television? Well, I'm going to show you a bit of them because this year I love them. It helped us to reflect back on all the things that have happened in 2021. So just before I do that, can you remember some of the things that have happened in 2021? I'm going to ask your teachers to pause me for a minute. And I want you to talk to each other about all the different things that you can remember. It might be some of the sporting things that happened. It might be some of the times that we had right way back when we were remote learning, all the things that have happened with the NHS. It may have been those first few times when you were able to go out. There were lots of different things that happened. What really stuck out in your mind in 2021? Now for me, some of the things that were really important was to do with how we all pulled together as a country. And I think we've really been doing that for the past 18 months, last year and a bit from the year before as well. But last year was really tough at times, but people all pulled together within that. I really like things like rap music and uh, poetry and different things like that, because I think you can express yourself. And when you watch the beginning of the fireworks this year that they had on New Year's Eve, they had 2021 told in poetry and poem form before they then had the big fireworks. Have a watch of it. As Big Ben's chimes ring out around us, signaling a year that's new, raise a glass, turn up the volume and welcome 2022. And as we share this midnight moment and imagine all that's still to come, let's relish the magnificent things we achieved in 2021. We rallied round our NHS heroes as they rolled out the vaccination and we stood beside our three lions, heads raised and proud, united together as a nation. We won 124 Paralympic medals, one of the greatest halls we've ever seen, and our star, Emma Raducanu, won the US Open. Gee, she's only 18. We saw the return of live events and reclaimed companionship and camaraderie. Tom Daly brought home gold and still found time to knit a Cardi. COP26 convened in Glasgow, aspiring to build a world that heals. And Marcus Rashford and his fans gave out 21 million free school meals. This progress punctuates the air tonight, but when all is said and done, this world must keep on turning. So we say goodbye to 21. And within this magic midnight moment, there's only one thing left to do. So come on, let's light the night sky up and journey together into 2022. Thank you. 
Platinum Jubilee Line train to... 2022! Our first stop is... Carnival! Exit here for... Culture, Colours and Sound! Greatest moments. The men did us proud in the Euros last year. Can the women go one better? The players take the knee, united in their stance against racism. Again and again they stream forward, looking for an opening. This looks promising and to see you in London for the UEFA Women's Euros. 2022 will be huge for sport across the UK. We are now approaching the home of theatre. Change here for the power of performance. And didn't it just light up the sky there? light up the sky with all of that colour and that hope that it can bring for us. I think the thing that I found amazing was that in amongst all the fireworks were those drones, all those drones, each one playing a part, its own part, in order to make up those different pictures that were in the sky. I find it incredible how much people must have worked together and how good technology is in order to be able to do that and to really set that message home. And for me, when I think about a new year, I always think about what do we want to do that's better? What do we want for our school that we're going to make better? What New Year's resolution can we have? I really want our world to heal, just like they said, as far as uh, COP26 is concerned, and to make sure that we actually really do make a difference in our world. And I really want us to be able to build on those successes. And we can all do that in one tiny little thing with very small things that we can do by being kind to each other, by really getting out there into nature and by actually really looking after everything that we really care about. In the news this week, it's all about being outside and being in nature. And something that I'll send around to your teachers for you is to think about a news article of how much learning children do outside. We're really lucky here at Morton because we do lots of learning outside. It's really important. But maybe it should be like that everywhere. And maybe that's something you should be campaigning for as well. So what do you want to achieve this year? What do you want to make better? Have a think about that and you can reflect on it. Now I'm going to ask the collective worship leaders to have a think about that, to come out to the front and to maybe lead you in some sort of prayer or just some thoughts if you want to. I am going to say a prayer to end. We do have a few staff who are off at the moment. They're not very well. And for us, our prayers and our blessings go out to them. And I know that you will be thinking of them and that you will be wishing them well as well. Dear God, we thank you for everything that we achieved in 2021. We thank you for all of the people who worked hard in order to help us through this pandemic that we've had. We thank you that we were able to work together and we know that we are still battling through some difficult times. 
We pray for all those who are unwell, including those people in our school who are not well at the moment. Please help them to heal and get well soon. We look forward to 2022 and all the things that we can achieve. Help us to make a difference in our world. Amen. And I look forward to coming and seeing all the hard work that you're going to be doing this year. And I can't wait to hear about just how exciting your plans are for 2022. See you later. <laughs>